Good day everybody. How are things? Hope you're having a beautiful day. It's just absolutely gorgeous here today. I'm working outside. I have my homeowner clothes on today, not my Woods Walker clothes. I'm absolutely filthy as one gets when they're working outside, but it's that time of year. Lots of things to do. Getting the lawn equipment out, getting the lawn tractor ready, all that type of stuff. It's not fun, but it needs to get done. And I just thought I'd set up the camera, touch base with you guys, let you know what's going on. And uh, that's what these vlogs are about. You know, they can happen anywhere, in the truck, in the back of my truck, shopping. I'll just turn on the camera, talk to you guys for a couple minutes, ask you a question. It's a good opportunity for you guys to ask me questions too. If you have any questions for me about, about me, about camping, bushcraft, anything like that, future videos, you have suggestions, leave them in the comment section down below and I'll address them in the next vlog. How does that sound? Let's try that. Leave some questions down below and uh, we'll get a discussion going that way. That might be fun. Yeah, so I can't get camping this week. Life just got in the way. I might be able to do it at the end of the week. But uh, for the beginning of the week and the middle of the week, life just got in the way. I'm absolutely slammed with things to do. And the next three days are going to be heavy, heavy rain days, like over 30 millimeters of rain, two of those days. And 30 millimeters of rain is a lot of rain. Like you don't want to go camping in 30 millimeters of rain. So hopefully by the end of the week, I'll be able to get out for a few days and film that. So thanks for the support in the last video. Thanks for the vote for the video in the last vlog. You knife sharpening geeks edged out the axe geeks just by a little bit. So I got the knife maintenance video out first, but the axe vid is shot. It's in editing and I'll get that out as soon as I can for you guys. But that's what these vlogs are about, you know, just for a chance for us to interact. And one of the things I have to do this week is take River to the vet. So that's happening tomorrow. And I think it's going to be fine. It looks like her foot is healed up well enough to take these stitches and the staples out and actually the staples are really starting to bother her but uh, she's a, a good girl tell her leave your foot alone she just leaves it alone but I think she wants them out so her foot looks good I'm sure the stitches are gonna come out um, if they don't well I'll let you know about that but it'll be another month or so after that before she's in perfect condition but maybe I can take her out in a few weeks camping she'll have to stay on a leash and uh, on a tie but uh, she'll have fun anyway It'd be nice to get her out for something like that so what else is going on I was at Costco the other day and what what got me to take what gave me the idea to take out the camera today is I saw the box from one of the items that I bought and uh, I wanted to share it with you because it's camping related, you know, camping gear from Costco. Who'd have thought? But my son-in-law showed me one of these items. He picked it up, showed it to him, and I thought, wow, that's really cool. And the price was right. So if you're a Costco member, you can head over there and check these out. Now, I'm talking about Costco Canada, probably in the U.S. too. But um, probably most of you are Costco members. And if you're not, why not? Costco, yay or nay? Is it a good deal? Do you think that membership is worth it? I think it's worth it. I think I think we save enough money over the year on certain items, you know what I mean? But uh, they get you. They get you every time. They get you on those hot dogs too. You have a hot dog. But yeah, I'm, I'm going to show you that. I'm thinking about what I'm going to do in my truck cap, camper. Uh, there is something back there now that I did not build. It needs to come out and I need to redo it all over again. So I want to make sure that it's done, you know, the right way. I want to do it right the first time, configured the right way for me and River, possibly my wife. So uh, we'll do that coming up soon. But first thing I have to do is fix this cap. It's got a leak. So that's a project coming up in the next week or two. I might bring you guys along for that. There must be some micro cracking in the a gel coat on the fiberglass because it leaks a wide area of the cap leaks and it does drip inside and you can see in the roof you know 
it's it's wet so I need to seal that from the outside get that done and I'm going to um, put rhino liner on it or like a truck bed liner something like that uh, Herculiner is what I'm gonna put on it so it's gonna be a DIY project maybe you guys can uh, check that out I think it'll work it's a waterproof product it's thick it's heavy-duty it's got some texture to it and actually I think it'll look pretty cool too so I want to get that done but uh, yeah I'll show you what I got at Costco and these are strictly car camping items boat camping items and I do a lot of boat camping in the summer with my wife out of the fishing boat and truck camping car, uh, car camping with my wife uh, we camp all summer and I don't film any of that for you guys but uh, there may be some trips that I could film or some portions of the trip that I could film for you guys if you want to see something like that let me know but let's check out this mattress So I think this is kind of like something unique to Costco. Um, sometimes they have things that you can only get at Costco, right? So it's super thick. It's six feet, four inches long. And man, I want to tell you, this is comfortable. And it was, I think $99. It's self-inflating. It inflates up, you know, like about 90%. And then you can use the bag to inflate it the rest of the way. A lot of sleeping pads are like that. And I bought it because it's a really tough material. And I'm afraid River's going to puncture my other sleeping pads, which are, you know, expensive. Um, you know, $300 pad. You don't want your dog putting a hole in it. And this comes with a patch kit as well, but it's, it's actually really tough. So, I mean, it's not a review. I haven't used it, but it seems really good. And if I don't like it, you take it back to Costco, they have a very generous return policy. Basically, if this thing doesn't work a year from now, Costco will take it back. Give me my money back, no questions asked. But I thought that's a really cool mattress and I want to incorporate this and this size into my camper build. And the other thing I really like, this is what my son-in-law showed me. Let me adjust the camera here. So this is a camp kitchen from GSI Outdoors, okay? And I think it's geared more for two people. It's definitely geared for, for car camping, truck camping, things like that. But I'm not gonna get rid of my other one that I showed you a while ago. This will be for when my wife and I go camping. But it's, it's complete and it's good quality. GSI is not a cheap company they make some really good products and I actually had a warranty claim with GSI a few years back and they were fantastic no questions asked they just replaced it and that's what you want in a company right it has pretty much everything you need and the tools I think are good quality I mean sturdy stainless steel they're metal they're not gonna be affected by fire or anything like that I mean really good you got a little spice kit here tongs a big ladle spoon two food prep knives they're stainless steel one parry knife one chef's knife a cheese grater two cutting boards one for meat one for veg plastic cutlery for four it's plastic but I think it'll be fine and some items to wash up. I don't know, that was $59. It'd be tough to put together a kit as comprehensive as that for less than $59, I think. Especially from GSI. Now you can of course go to the dollar store and assemble a kit, but I like to keep things a little compact and organized so that's why I grabbed that so $59 Costco in Canada if they have them in the States they'll be much cheaper in the States and this air mattress was $99 it's the light speed light speed air mattress 
Check it out if you're interested. I just thought I'd share it with you. Yeah, so there's a little update. There's a little vlog. Thanks very much for joining me today. I uh, hope you like those couple of items. Let me know if you go and check them out. If you buy one, let me know. Let me know what about the quality of it. I think they're pretty good quality for the price. So anyway, I think we'll let this video end here. This little vlog. We'll see you in the next one. I appreciate all the new subscribers. Fantastic. I'm looking forward to getting to know you in the comments down below. So the opportunity for that is right now. Say hi down below. Ask me a question and uh, I'll get back to you. All right. Take care, everybody. I do appreciate you. One and all. We'll see you in the next one.